This is one of our favourite unicycles. Um, as it happens, this unicycle is owned by every single person in this office. Um, we, we love it. It's our freestyle unicycle. It's top end in its game. There is no better. So let's get all the bits out. So that's a saddle. Comes with a seat post attached. Um, I think I've uh, pulled out a 300 one. So this seat post should be a 300, yeah. So this is the frame with the uh, seat posts. And as you see, it's 300 long. So this would be someone about my size, made a little smaller. So somewhere around five foot six um, would be, that would be the right size for them. Um, you also get the wheel. I will talk to you that, about that in a second. And you also get uh, a box of bits, which we will open in a second. But let me, uh, let me show you. Let's start off with a wheel. Um, now, what's new? Yeah, oh, it's a bit grubby actually. It needs a bit of a clean. We've got bits and pieces on. Okay, the new rim. New deep section profiled rim. Um, be a lot stronger, a lot more rigid. And it's actually lighter as well. So, um, 36 hole rim, stainless steel spokes, FOSS inner tube, so it's the lightweight inner tube, and it has the, um, I think it's a kicks and butt, I always get them mixed up, no, sorry, X Performer, the Duro X Performer tyre, which is a good quality tyre. Um, no problems with grip or, or problems on dirty floors, it just tends to grip, and that's the quality of the tyre that does that. Um, now, one of the changes, 89 mil cranks as standard. This was, again, following feedback from riders who, we used to supply 100 mil cranks. Now remember, this is a top-end freestyle unicycle. This isn't your learner unicycle. Um, top-end riders need shorter cranks. So, 89 mil Venture 2 cranks, absolutely brilliant. Now, something is secret in this that uh, is quite hard for you to, to see, new hub. This hub is not a composite hub. This is a solid piece of aluminium. It's 6061 aluminium billet. It's machined from solid and it's one piece. So it's an ISIS hub. Gone are any problems we had with, with creaking. Um, this hub is, again, ground up build. It's absolutely fantastic. Again, we've been riding in the office. I think I've been riding it for two years. Um, we, we get to play with the prototypes. Absolutely brilliant hub. Uh, and, and quite a move forward. Of course, it's got ISIS bearings. Um, nice. Okay, that's the wheel. That's the core of the unicycle. Now, let's have a look at the frame. Now, there are changes with this as well. Oops. Um, new bearing housings. Uh, these are shorter bearing housings. Um, so the uh, pitch on these bolts is actually shorter. So if you should over tighten them, you don't bend the uh, the bearing clamps, which we did have with the older version. So we brought the size in. Um, the um, ah, another change. Seat post uh, tube diameter. This tube is 31.8 on the outside. Previously, though, 30.5. So this now fits vastly more uh, seat post clamps. So you want to change your seat post clamp. You can buy one off the shelf. You don't have to buy one of the special ones. Now, one of the features of this frame that is a hidden feature. Now, these frames, it's, it's straightforward. It's one tube, one tube, one tube, or two tubes uh, for the legs. It's not, there's one more tube. The tube is actually inside. 80 millimeters long, there's a stud tube. Welded at the bottom here, you can see this bit of weld here where that tube breaks through, and that tube proceeds up here. This long tube slides on the top, and it's then welded around here. But then there's one other thing done. There are a series of six holes around the outside of this tube, and it's then puddle welded. So the inner tube is welded to the outside tube, is welded to this, the top tube is welded to the horizontal tube. One of the strongest frames out there all hidden, nicely done. We like that. That's a, a nice little feature. Now let's have a look at the saddle and seat post. Short seat post, you don't need a long seat post because it's designed for you. It's the right length for you. Um, now, another little change. It's just development. It's taking feedback from riders. 
we had riders, mainly the trials riders, but we had some freestyle riders again who were snapping the base of the, um, the seat post. Not something that happened instantly, but it's with drops and, and big jumps. Um, so we've added this little feature here. It's just a little um, ridge within the tool, um, and it actually gives you considerably more strength on that base without any extra weight. Simple thing to do. Well, simple to say, it's actually quite hard to change to metal tooling, but it's something we've done, and we're very pleased with that. So that's increased the strength of the seat post. Now, the seat. Um, you should have seen this before in the, the last version, but we've moved on. Again, taking feedbacks from customers. Um, this, this seat is now considerably softer, so we softened it. We've also changed the shape of the foam. So the foam profile has changed. This profile is actually more curved. Feedback we got from riders was this curve is actually what gives them control. So by increasing it, we've increased the control. We also had comments that it was too sharp on this ridge here. So we've reduced the ridge. So this has now got a softer ridge on. Um, the base of the saddle, this is the, um, the impact base. Uh, it's just branded as impact and the impact handle, but it comes across the, the Nimbus range. This one, because it's black, I can tell you it's nylon six. It's not a trial saddle. It doesn't need to be super, super strong. But it's nylon six. It's multiple times stronger than um, the polypropylene saddles, which we've seen almost everyone else producing. This is a big move forwards. Um, handle. The handle is shorter. The handle is shorter by 10 mil than the traditional um, saddle handles with the hole in. The reason is we've removed the front edge. By removing that front edge on the saddle means that you can grip the saddle on the side, on the front, or even with two hands if you want. You've got more space. By shortening it, this saddle you can remove in and out easily. Um, you don't have to go on tiptoes to, to get out to, to take the saddle out. Um, so a considerable move forward. Um, certainly for the freestylers, I believe that's going to be quite a, a popular saddle. Let's now have a, a quick look what we've got in the goodies box. Hoping there are some different things in here, um, but I'm not sure. Um, this is this is really is we got this today. We're gonna look in there. Ah, the Nimbus uh, nylon sa uh, pedals. These are uh, glass-filled nylon, okay, tough as old boots. They're, they're brilliant. Um, new bearing housings. I see new profile and with the the basic shorter length. That's the main thing. Um, now, what else have we got in here? Um, you've got your bolts for holding the uh, bearing housings in. You've got the bearing clamp, which is a 31.8. Again, quite easy. We have tool. Um, this is uh, being upgraded. We, th when we first produced these, we produced these in EN8, which is a normal steel. Uh, what we found was, with continual use, because customers were keeping them and using them, the jaws were opening up. So this is actually made from tool steel, so considerably tougher. I, I have this in my riding pack and, and use it. If you're wondering what the holes are for, they're actually for the next thing, which is your Allen key. They actually, your Allen key will fit in there. You can fit three Allen keys in. You just put a, uh, an elastic band around and you've got a riding kit to straight off. Nice little feature. And the other nice thing comes with a bottle opener. Always useful. Oh. What else? Okay, instructions. Worth mentioning, we changed the way we do our instructions. Rather than putting instructions in every single box in multiple languages, we now have a card. So this card gives you a link to where the instructions are and a QR code that you can go to. This will actually give you 10 different languages. So pick your language and you've then got your instructions for building the frame. So yeah, great little unicycle. Uh, and as I say, it, it's uh, the one that we all ride, so I uh, can certainly uh, recommend this one.